It is a beautiful sunny morning and I'm at Cornell Farm with Deb and Deb. Hey. This is the time of the Pansy Festival and pansies yeah. galore at your place. Thank you. We love our pansies. We celebrate them every fall. Oh, they're just so beautiful. They flower all the way through the winter into the spring. In fact, year round if you don't have them in the hottest spot in the summer but we celebrate them because they offer so much color. You know, and there's always some other plants that you can coordinate with pansies, and uh, coming here and talking to your staff, I'm sure that you can create some beautiful combinations for us. We really sur we surprise people with that, <laughs> <laughs> I hope, anyway. And with the Pansy Festival this year, you have something going on, and mm -hmm. you have other plants here, and it mm -hmm. says about, we're talking about bees and helping yes. to protect bees and doing some bee research. Yes, um, we decided this fall that the bee situation is very concerning all over the world and we decided that we should help with that. So we contacted Oregon State University which last year began a bee research program into wow. the colony collapse disorder. Mm -hmm. So we're donating a portion of the sale of all of our pansies this fall and winter to the OSU Bee Research Oh, so that really, I, I always feel, you know, so much better when I'm helping to get a solution. And so coming here and you're really helping out the bees that we love and we love having them come to our gardens. Absolutely. Well, they're in critical, critically important to agriculture, uh, the food we eat. And right now, this fall, all these plants here that bloom in the fall are going to be able to give their, the bees their source of food and energy that they need to hold tight for the winter. So having pollen and nectar available in the fall is really important. So what are some of your favorites? Because I, I see that they're really working hard here and you know, people get worried about getting stung, but I think they're so busy getting pollen and getting oh. ready for winter that they're not gonna bother us no, as gardeners. No, no, in fact, we our employees are working around the bees all the time. I mean, we don't have that many bees, but the bees are definitely attracted. <laughs> right now, you can see they're hungry and they are like the Caryopteris here. Um, this one is just about to come into bloom, the Sedum Autumn Joy. That's another really nice I one. I love this one. This is a wonderful St. John's wort. There's a whole new collection of these that were bred by Dutch uh, flower hybridizers for those extra big berries, so you get a plus in your own flower arrangements. But in the meantime, the bees enjoy the nectar and get the food. Deb, you know, pansies are just perfect, you know, in our gardens yes. and in containers. Yes. I'm sure yes. that for combinations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's the colors of the rainbow. Very That's much. the thing. You can with pansies and violas, the big flowers, the little flowers. You can combine them. You got evergreen perennials. You can match it all together, and it can match your door. You know, whatever your color scheme is, the, the Halloween party, the, the OSU <laughs> game, you know, whatever. Uh, there's pansies for everything. Ah, that is so great. And I know that you have the Pansy Festival that's starting. It goes on through the 30th of this month. Yes. So we've been collecting those pansy dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, here just we so go. we can remind us here so you can yes. bring those in now. Mm -hmm. And so you're helping the bees, getting a beautiful garden, and saving some dollars. Absolutely, yeah. Well, please come on out to Cornell Farm. They have this great staff. It's beautiful. You really get inspired. And just thanks so much for having us yeah. out this morning. Thank you very much.